Good morning. Hey, could first, uh, can you introduce yourself? Tell me what regiment you represent and what your rank is. Uh, I'm Sergeant Jim Tate uh, with the 1st Battalion of the 95th Rifles, 2nd Company. Excellent. And then uh, 95th Rifles. So uh, a rifle, how's that different than a musket that, that we've seen most of our guys carry? The 95th had a new, uh, unique weapon, a unique tacti tactical mission and unique training. The rifle is patterned after a Jaeger rifle. It has rifling in the barrel. And with the patch ball, it, you have to be capable of hitting a man-sized target at 300 yards to be in the rifles. All right, so you dropped a few things there. What, what's a Jaeger? Jaeger is a German rifle. It's been around for probably 50 to 75 years at, at the point of the Napoleonic Wars. And it was used by special Jaegers, which is the German word for hunters. And they were in special battalions. They were marksmen, skirmishers, things of that nature. And the 95th was, was designed to be primarily skirmishers, outpost, scouting, patrolling, rear guard, flank guard, all the, the crappy jobs that the regular army didn't want. So here's where I can't resist dropping a joke. So the Jaeger is not, not, not extra shots at a wild night in a bar. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It is a very accurate rifle. The difference between the, bake, the Baker and the, the German Jaeger is that the Baker had to have a bayonet lug. Jaeger does not have one. Why don't you hold that up so we have right. a closer look at it there. So. And I'll take the, uh, take the lock cover off, which is, uh, was standard for uh, the 95th. And it's just a leather cover that goes over the lock uh, for inclement weather. Take this off. And again, it has a raised cheek piece, okay? It has a uh, rather ornate uh, grip on the trigger guard. It's the same lock as, as a British carbine lock. The same caliber as a British carbine, 62 caliber, but it does have sights. It has 200 yard sights, and then I flip this up for 300 yard sights. Yeah. It has a front sight. Yeah, so that's, and that's much different than the, the smooth bore muskets, which do not have any sights. You might see a bayonet lug. And that's there. it, but, but yeah, there's no yeah. rear sight on a musket. That's yeah. correct, yes. And, uh, but again, it's the same typical lock mechanism that you saw in a musket, where the flint hits the frizzen, flash puts a, a, sets off the powder in the pan, which sets off the charge in the main, in the barrel. All right, and then what's that little piece of brass down this there? This is uh, a patch box. You saw this on Jaegers. You also saw it on the American Long Rifle. And it was, you kept patches in it, tools, whatever. And it's just a handy little compartment to keep things. That's all. Excellent. All right, so the 95th Rifles, did they serve in Canada during the War of 1812? No, they were never in Canada. The only time they came to North America was at the Battle of New Orleans. There was a half a battalion with uh, the British Army in New Orleans. Excellent. Okay, and then uh, explain the the rifling. Like, like a tr modern rifle has grooves, spiral cut grooves in in the barrel, right? So that kind yes. of puts a spin on on the it, bullet. Exactly. It it helps put the spin on the bullet. However, to catch the rifling properly, you have to put a patch around the ball, either leather or cloth, and you push it down the barrel. And because uh, you have a, a patch ball that fits tightly in the barrel you have to pound it down. And in the rifles, all right, you actually reverse the rammer to pound it down because you were pounding on the top of the rammer to get it down. Yes, you had a 300 yard range, but you could only, uh, with a patch ball, it took you a minute to load. So you had 200 yards to be able to shoot at Frenchmen until they got within range of you and use their muskets, at which point we would stop patching the ball and we would use a cartridge from our cartridge box. But again, at 100 yards, with a relatively tight fit in the barrel, uh, not completely tight, and with sights, we were st we increased our volume of fire to three rounds a minute, and we were still losing uh, had uh, substantial accuracy. Excellent, great. And then um, sharp, has that that helped or hurt you you uh, recruiting <laughs> and drawing people into the hobby? Uh, it, it has it has helped quite a bit. Everybody who's joined has said, you know, I saw the sharp series. I really liked what they were doing. And uh, historically speaking, of course, it's historic fiction, okay? But the, uh, the style, uh, the, the history behind the, the, uh, the series is very accurate. Uh, and uh, it was not uncommon for riflemen to be used for detached service, scouting and patrolling, things of that nature. And they actually developed a manual 
for how to approach a house on a scouting expedition, how to post men on picket uh, and outpost duty, uh, and, and because that was their job. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much. Really appreciate you doing this with us. You're quite welcome.